Welcome to Masat. Uh, our purpose as a company is to make a universal accessibility for everyone. And today, and this, during this exhibition, we are presenting IDA system, means artificial intelligence driven access. What we are trying to do is to make easy access for every passenger to public transport, okay? So first of all, we'll show you how. With the use of a camera and a speaker, we can synchronize the movement of the complete access doors and ramps to make easy access for everyone. First of all, let's imagine that there is a person that wants to enter into the bus. So the camera detects this person and it opens automatically. What we're trying to improve here is the passenger flow. Okay. Then the second use case, it's okay. Imagine a blind person. Okay. This blind person will use a stick. So let's, this person cannot see, but can hear very well. So our system, our camera, when it detects the stick, it detects that this person has a special need and there's the buzzer indicating that the door is opening. And also, if you listen carefully, there's a buzzer that is telling this person what is the center of the door so this person can easily access to the, to the, into the vehicle in a safe way. The third situation is for persons with reduced mobility. In this case, person with a wheelchair, these persons may have, may not reach the push buttons in an easy way. So when our system detects the wheelchair, it automatically deploys the ramp and the door. As you can see, we also have the passenger information system, LEDs synchronized on the door and on the ramp to show how to access into the, into the transport. And it's completely automatic. The person did no action. So this is how we use artificial intelligence to make easy access to public transport for everyone. Our system also detects the intention of people. So if a person just walks by, our system will not open the door because it understands that the person doesn't want to go in. And finally, these systems improve inclusivity, improves passenger flow and also safety. Imagine that a person is standing right below the door, imagine that this person has one part of his body outside. What we do is we close in a safe way because we detect this person and we close in a safe way, allowing this person to move away from the door. Okay. So at the end, this AI-driven access system improves inclusivity, improves safety, and improves passenger flow when there is people with special needs trying to access into public transport. One of the new products we are also showing is our new single sliding door. We see that in city buses and intercity buses, what we have to improve is speed to improve passenger flow, also to have a very good ceiling, and also weight is very important. So this system, it weights less than the previous systems of single sliding door that Masax had, improving what the market needs. Another thing we want to show, it's the dual ramp. It is very important that everyone can access into public transport all the time. Ramps are elements that get a lot of dirt. It's easy that they get, that they don't work well. So what we are presenting here is the dual ramp. Means there is an electric ramp, but it is combined in the same cassette with a manual ramp. So in case due to lack of maintenance or any other issue, the electric ramp does not work, the system is always available because you always have a manual RAM on top, which can be deployed at any time. This way, access to public transport is always available for everyone. We are also presenting the new wide, wider RAM. What does this mean? What we want to do is to make the access easier for everyone so we try to make a ramp as wide as the door. I will show you. You will see how when the ramp deploys, there will be LEDs showing the path, but the ramp, as you can see, it's wider than the normal ones. The trend nowadays is this, to make easy access to everyone by making wider ramps so 
people with reduced mobility can easily access into the public transport.